So it's really important that growers and agronomists maintain their approach of using multiple tactics to control their weeds and not just rely solely on glyphosate. We're now starting to see that herbicide break down and not control some of those problem weeds. Hi, my name's Dean Whitten and I'm a Regional Business Manager for Monsanto. Integrated weed management is to control weeds over a long period of time in the farming system and also to help with herbicide resistance. I'm Eric Coates, um, I'm a weeds agronomist with New South Wales DPI and I'm the technical lead for weed management with the Cotton Info team. Integrated weed management in the cotton system in, a, in Australia is, is a very important component of, of weed management for the whole farming system. So we're talking about using non-herbicide tactics when possible to take the pressure off glyphosate using residuals and pre-emergent herbicides prior to sowing and then coming back in with in-crop cultivation and, and lay-by herbicides to, to take the pressure off glyphosate so it's not doing the heavy lifting and the idea behind that is that we're throwing as many different tools and tactics as we can at the weeds within our crop to make sure that we're controlling them and that they're not setting survivors at the end of the season. The three main components of integrated weed management would be physical, chemical and cultural controls. So the physical component would consist of pupae busting, scarifying and disking. All of these measures will aid in the controlling of weeds. So one of the, the interesting things about cotton as a crop is it's not a particularly competitive crop early on. So to take the pressure off the early phase of the crop, we need to make sure that we have very clean fields going in. And one of the ways we can do that is stopping seeds in the previous season and during the fallow from setting seed. And if we can do that for most of the common weed species for two or even three seasons, you'll find that those weed numbers are now at a much lower manageable level. So the chemical control would consist of different use of herbicides. So the Australian cotton farming system has been using Roundup Ready cotton now for the last almost 20 years. Cultural control consists of crop selection, row spacing and application of fertiliser. This in turn helps control with competition of weeds. One of the cornerstones of the, the cotton farming system and weed management is the herbicide resistance management strategy. And that focuses on using two non-glyphosate tactics out of the crop, so in the fallow and pre-sowing, and two non-glyphosate tactics in crop, so that could be a cultivation or chipping or scouting of fields. And the idea is, is that there are no survivors at the end of that crop, so that there's no weeds setting seed and topping up the seed bank for the following year, and hopefully you start the next season with a clean field.